What you're watching here is a time series sequence of three eye atlas captured over roughly 22 minutes. Each frame is a long exposure, stacked into a short loop so the motion becomes obvious. Notice how the background stars stay fixed. That's not because they aren't moving. It's because the telescope is tracking them, not the object. 3i Atlas is the one drifting across the field. The motion is smooth, consistent, no sudden jumps, no breaks, no erratic shifts. That tells us this isn't an artifact, and it isn't noise. Around the central point, you can see a faint, diffuse glow, it stays attached to the object as it moves, frame after frame. That coherence matters. If this were a processing error, the glow wouldn't travel with the source. If this were background contamination, it wouldn't stay centered. But it does. You'll also notice occasional thin streaks cutting across the frame. Those are unrelated, cosmic rays or passing satellites, and they don't track with the object. They appear once, then vanish. 3i Atlas doesn't. What this clip confirms is simple but important. The structure we're seeing in still images is real. It persists over time, and it moves exactly as a distant object should. This motion matters because it matches the pattern we keep seeing. This frame was captured on December 17, 2025 by Ivan Vazquez under clear conditions with the short two-minute exposure. What stands out isn't brightness, it's how compact the central glow remains. Even at this scale, the structure stays tight, with no sign of spreading or breakup. The surrounding envelope is faint, controlled, and centered, not chaotic. So as of December 17th, the pattern hasn't disappeared. It's still there, quiet, stable, and consistent. This follow-up image was captured the same morning, December 17th, 2025, again by Ivan Vasquez, but with a longer seven-minute exposure. What's important here is what doesn't change. Even with more integration time, the core stays compact. The glow extends slightly, but it doesn't smear, fragment, or lose definition. Longer exposure usually exaggerates instability. Here, it does the opposite. It reinforces the same structure we saw earlier. Stable center, controlled envelope, no sudden diffusion. That consistency matters. So let's pause and line up what we actually know so far. This summary comes from a tight observing window, December 15th through December 17th. Time series images across those nights show steady, continuous motion against the background stars. No jumps, no erratic shifts, just smooth, consistent travel. The central region stays compact, even in longer exposures. It doesn't smear out or diffuse the way loosely bound material normally does. At the same time, an extended directional feature keeps reappearing, and it stays aligned across different observers, locations, and instruments. Ground-based images and space-based data are showing the same geometry. Enhanced views push the scale further, revealing structures stretching hundreds of thousands of kilometers. That structure survives contour plots and aggressive filtering, which tells us this isn't a processing artifact. And across multiple nights, there's still no sign of fragmentation or chaotic spreading. Whatever is driving this behavior, it's stable, coherent, and persistent. All of this is unfolding just days before the closest approach. Interstellar 3i Atlas reaches its nearest point to Earth on December 19th. So here's the question. Are we watching a temporary outburst that just happens to look organized? Or are we seeing a deeper, underlying structure finally becoming visible as geometry and lighting line up? What do you think these new images are really telling us? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every one. And if you want to follow what happens next as new data comes in, Make sure you're subscribed and share this with someone who's been tracking the 3i Atlas story. We're not done yet.